Enjoy this walkthrough of the Off the Cloth exhibition at White Box. I'm gonna start also by putting this on. Very good. Um, Give a little bit. So the podcast is gonna H2O. be recording as we go. Very good. So well, here we are. So here we are today with Juan Puntes. Mm -hmm. um, Juan I've known for many years and he is, uh, as I was saying to him, much more erudite about all things art. And he reminded me that he has never separated art and literature, which I think is That's correct. bravo. Not just culture, but literature. Mm -hmm. Because I'm a child of the literary genre, right? Mm -hmm. Without literature or poetry, certainly included, mm -hmm. uh, and we could not uh, add the visuals to that. You know, the, throughout the history, we could not really have a sense of where we come from, yes. where our lineage um, starts, the fountain of our being here. Um, so like, uh, like being there, the gardener, right? Uh, how do we examine our condition? Um, today I had a beautiful um, message, uh, three poems about three different cities, read by Johanna Roa, who is here, one of our artists. Mm -hmm. And in the midst of that, she also said, um, I must confess, much to my chagrin, that I love to have seen the process of you finding a space for 11 months all over downtown, considering Trebeka, this and that, and in the end, deciding to come to the East Village Alphabet City at the margins of you know, the, the, the art scene, so to speak. Yeah. Right? And with a nostalgia, uh, we want to bring, he said, you want to bring fresh uh, narratives of what's going on today in the world, in the neighborhood, in the locality. You want to start programs with women, uh, New Yorkian, mm -hmm. Latinx, to, this is the, to, me, neighborhood for to me this is the birth of Latinx mm -hmm. in America, mm -hmm. is, um, is Harlem, certainly El Barrio, and here we still have the New Yorkian cafe around the corner, um, you know, uh, and I've spoken to some of them, and they're willing to collaborate with us. Yeah? Wow. <coughs> well, that's what struck me the other day when I came uh, to the opening day uh, for this current exhibition, and you mentioned that by coming back to the space, you had come back to your roots. And I thought that was quite interesting, mm. because for myself, I've been thinking the same thing. I moved back recently to the East Village as well, and I felt like I was coming back to my roots in New York. Yeah, it's curious because I came here to the country as a draft evader of Franco's army, mm -hmm. supported by Washington, D.C., right, or the military, the last dictator to die in power mm -hmm. in Spain, and I left. And I came here, exactly, to the East Village, uh, to uh, 7th Street between A and B, right? And I stayed there briefly mm -hmm. when it was a tent. Uh, Tompkins Square <laughs> was the tent city, city yeah. but the original one, not just the later one from the 80s that returns. Mm -hmm. And I've seen knives fly in front of my eyes. And, and there was, I moved down to by, I mean, I would go to Boston, Rochester, uh, study there. I come here almost every weekend uh, from Boston Museum School, right? Mm -hmm. Etc. I lived with uh, Mich one of the members of Mission of Burma, uh, the super, uh, you know, cult. Uh, late art punk band, right? Uh, so that gave me an in to this part of the culture, right? Yes. Which was the East Village. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I came here and I said, holy shit, you know? This is where uh, it's happening. Um, and uh, yeah, because Soho, we had gone to Soho, yeah. we had gone to 57th Street, that's where you, you would go mm -hmm. on the stage. And coming here and seeing, you know, this and that, the crazy mansion, all these galleries, you know, wow. Um, Nan Golden with her buddies, you know, etc. Uh, we'd come here every week. We can uh, stay in um, occupied uh, houses being burned down by the landlords. You mean um, squatting? <laughs> yeah, I just squat and I mean, I give my weekends and yeah. pick up <laughs> people who hang out, do all the museums, CBGB, Mud Club, Max mm -hmm. Kansas City, mm -hmm. or places we'd go in the afternoon, mm -hmm. the chickpeas at Max Kansas City. And that night we'd go to save the robots. About 4 a.m. 4 a.m. they open, just down the street here. Wow, now I be, remember. Right? Yeah. And you would come out at 6, 7 o'clock, go to the Kiev or to the Bezelka for breakfast, right? right? And etc., uh, etc. Et so, 
after calculating, you know, um, we were, inception was in the nascent Chelsea, 19, mm -hmm. um, 1997, I pick a, a, a lease, I have studios to support the white box, and then we opened a white box Chelsea. There were about seven galleries, right? Barbara Gladstone, mm -hmm. um, Metro Pictures, was about the move-in, Paula Cooper, yeah. a team gallery, the Kara Stewart, mm -hmm. and a white box. We right. were six or seven. The DL was there, and such. And the kitchen was too south. 19th Street was yeah. too south. We were in the 20s. Yeah. 20, 27 to 26. Like Chelsea? <clears throat> yes, absolutely. We call it Chelsea eventually, mm -hmm. which is really West Chelsea, right? right. Near the Chelsea Hotel. <clears throat> North of it and west. Okay. Because Chelsea, Chelsea Hotel is central. Yeah. I was okay. offered a room to live there, mm -hmm. uh, but my mate of the time said, no, you don't go there, you're going to have too much fun. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you regretted that after. <laughs> I did, actually. This yes. is what the girlfriends what, what, do. One of the few things, yeah. Um, you know, so kicking ass um, after playing in Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, for a couple of years, uh, so in 96. 99, uh, I was doing a master's at the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts, mm -hmm. which is rare. Uh, that's not, I was an abstract painter, I was uh, a guy who put together uh, bands in Boston, five, six bands, Mission Burma, uh, you know, and uh, the two by fours, the turbines, and all of this. I get parties, right? Mm -hmm. And I get poets. Uh, I remember and local poets, most of them gay, and lesbian uh, filmmakers from the San Francisco Art Institute, right? <laughs> and I put them all together, a bath of sangria, we threw them all in there first to freshen it up mm -hmm. and get some aroma. So that was a bit of the root of mine. Yes. Yet when I come here in 83, after a, 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 a poet um, commits suicide, I go to Stromboli Island, and I live there for three months under the volcano. I read, uh, you know, Malcolm Burry, Under the Volcano in Mexico. Which poet died? Uh, a poet friend of mine, Chinese. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And um, Mrs. Lee. Mm -hmm. And uh, that threw me into uh, the, the volcano for mm -hmm. a few months. I came back and I met uh, uh, Philip Pavia, a sculptor, mm -hmm. that became his um, right hand. And I was helping teach the classes. I was painter, became a sculptor. And this minute, in no time I realized it, and he says, wait, 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 what is this? This is Frank Klein, you know? I said, well, uh, I'm one of the initiators of the 8th Street Artist Club with this raspy voice, like uh, uh, Godfather <clears throat> at Diphtheria. Mm -hmm. said, uh, you know, and uh, I don't know, if you stick around, I'll let you know things. So with his wife, Natalie Edgar, I was sort of like able to, and John Isaacs, my designer, and book designer, we put together the book, uh, the seminar and book, The Eighth Street Artist Club. So the dichotomy with me is that I had studied, um, you know, history of art. Mm -hmm. I had studied, you know, the movement, the Renaissance, from, you know, you, you name it, Romanesque to the present in Spain. as a hitchhiker around Europe and North Africa as a teenager, right? And I come here and I'm um, an art punk. <laughs> I'm going to art school, the School of Museum and Fine Art was a cool place, right? And then Tufts University, so I meet the, this, the, all the levels of people, but I hang out more with the, with the Mets College of Art, which is more like working class cats. Right? Yeah, yeah. And we were next to each other at the Fenway. And so I began to mix in my old fashion and style. I, I'm, I'm a, and I used to do that in Spain. I was a kid of the streets, uh, I was a Pasolini character. Mm -hmm. but my friends were, you know, philosophy students, having terrific, terrific uh, theater groups, which mm -hmm. I formed part of them. But I knew uh, art, uh, drug dealers, uh, police informers, <laughs> etc. Wow. So I come, uh, as an art, you know, as a draft evader, I come here, and I'm mixed with this uh, several layers. I'm a punk, I'm there with Mission of Burma in Boston. Here I come and <laughs> see all this space, I visit all these spaces in the Mud Club, and there's mm -hmm. still Yoko Ono at her little place next door. And before you know, Osvaldo Romberg, 
is one of my visiting professors for my MFA at the Pennsylvania Academy mm -hmm. in 95, 96. Arthur Danto, Philip Pavia get an honoris causa, and I asked Fred, uh, hey, can I do a, a part-time master's here in a sculpture? And I ended up teaching stone carving, wow. because Pavia taught me that, mm -hmm. uh, took me to Italy, etc. So short of it, all of a sudden I see myself floating between, you know, the apex color field paint in school, mm -hmm. Um, and as we opened White Box with Asval Rumber, we opened um, three years with play around in Old City, Philadelphia. And then we opened at the same time both cities in nascent Chelsea. Yes. And on the 8th September, we kicked ass with a historical <clears throat> show curated by Kuhl mm -hmm. of pretty much all the alumnus, alumni of uh, artist space. <laughs> right, right, right. right. I was like, wow, and with yeah. the performances, the baby piano thing, and etc. anti-fashion shows. And the second show was Val and I decided to do a seminal artist series. Mm -hmm. We bring um, Vienna actionists, right? Mm -hmm. We were on the 14th floor in 26th Street in the staringly high building. Yeah. And people completely are taken by Avalanche, right? Wow, the hell, who the hell are you? What is going on? White yeah. box? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A white box yeah. certainly it was not a white cube. I was just about to say that was before white cube even started. Before the white, absolutely, yes. And I happened to have the, the uh, felicity of having had Sid Sachs mm -hmm. as one of my professors at the Pennsylvania Academy. Right? He runs the galleries right. at, the, uh, at the University of the Arts in Philadelphia. Yeah. And he gave me to read. Aha, inside the white cube, Brian O'Doherty, aka Patrick Ireland. And I get initiated into the conceptual moment. Because yes. I came from being a painter mm -hmm. out there and a punk and a painter, and, mm -hmm. you know. Um, Should we uh, have some tea? Yeah. So, um, all of a sudden, I like in the midst, we'll settle down, mm -hmm. in the midst of this sea of yeah. like, wait. Uh, I get this job and I do the masters as I teach and out of playing boredom in Philadelphia, right? Mm -hmm. I open a space called White Box yeah. Camp. And you start with the right. okay. with this, with this, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is who? This is Jody Lynn mm -hmm. Chow, mm -hmm. Jamaican, Jamaican an Asian Jamaican. Okay. And it's Swayze. Mm -hmm. She did a beautiful um, performance, durational performance, right here. Follow okay. me. Okay. Uh, now we're going to the part garden. Of, part of the space yeah. is this the thousand square feet oh, wow. garden. And the thrones. Yeah. Where uh, Jody Lee was here, uh -huh. in the middle, right? With yeah. a 13 foot dress mm -hmm. and a basket with apples, mm -hmm. red apples. And in the sort of like Marina Abramovich yeah. um, durational, she lasted about 45 minutes, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And then she dumped things. And over there we have chairs uh -huh. from the um, Merce Cunningham, I can pull one for you. Yes. Merce Cunningham and John Cage. No, it's okay, it's okay. No, yeah, let's yeah, not, uh, yeah, because it's raining. Uh -huh. I don't want to stay out. So yeah, this, this is very nice. That's the number of people. We, we have, no, check out this one. Radio oh, radio music. music. These are 55 chairs from the Merce Cunningham Foundation. Wow. That were given to White Box. Right. <clears throat> and uh, we had an artist do 51 titles of John Cage in each back of the chair. Oh, wow. And there's a QR that you can listen to the composition. Mm hmm. Right? All right. So that garden is part of um, White Box makeup. Yeah. As well as down here. Okay. That says there's three artists mm -hmm. downstairs. Right. I have to hold on. Yeah, you hold on. I'm going to turn the light on. Okay. Yes. Oppa. Come very slowly, very, very slowly. Because I have to plug it in. It's going to take a moment. Yeah, this reminds me of the basement at the Broom Street location. Oh, but yeah. this is more treacherous. <laughs> no, no, this, is, this, is, this is the gallows. This is Kinza and the gallows. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. yeah. What's the name? Kinza. Uh -huh. Okay. 
is the one upstairs with the bullets. Yeah. This is in Pakistan right now, Lahore. Mm -hmm. Right? And this is Eva Petrick mm -hmm. video. Yeah. And right here is is oh, sold okay, is, is sold the kill it. Right? Who's with, this one? He sold it. He sold it. Kill it. A woman again, all women. He, all women, thirty mm -hmm. women. This is a dungeon, but mm -hmm. if you come here, you see that piece through a, for, through a broken brick, uh -huh. like here. Oh, wow. And that's another uh, this is the same amazing, piece. yeah. <laughs> that's really cool. Yeah, that's really cool. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so this is the space I would like to call the Gramsci room. Yes, yes, uh, yes. In yes. memory of Antonio Gramsci. Yeah. That's Eva yeah. herself, mm -hmm. whose work also encompasses always this kind of lace, mm -hmm. uh, or knitting, whatever you call that, mm -hmm. right? But um, she did St. John the Divine, the entire altar. Wow. About a hundred and some feet of found materials like that. Amazing. It, and see, again, it's all women. Mm -hmm. uh, so the whole shenanigan of right. this exhibition of the cloth mm -hmm. had to do with art and craft. Mm -hmm. Always um, the women have been the crafters, right? The great artisans yeah. that were not considered artists. Yes, yes. And this uh, proves the opposite. That through all kinds of fabric, it, you know, the cross upstairs is very DNA in uh, scientific, mm -hmm. right? The mapping of Simonetta, yeah. it has to do with uh, cities, aspects, utopia, mm -hmm. etc. But all of it has this kind of weave, web, cell building. Yes. You know what we call it fabric. The, yeah, today. the fabric, right? The cloth, the cloth, the cloth, the cloth yes, of yes. life. Yeah. Right. This is a cloth that existed before. Right. Right. And more it's more carpet. Yeah. Cloth. Mm -hmm. Right. It's a tapestry. Mm -hmm. uh, people blocked out men, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. etc. So well, let's go upstairs again. I would put two chairs here in case people want to sit and watch this um, video or watch like those big chairs. We, from have, the... we have all that. Mm -hmm. Yes, but remember, we opened at the very, very last minute. Yeah, That's you guys minute. just opened. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Up, 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 As you can see, we have a grand baby grand piano. Yeah. For the music. Yeah. Which is That's very cool. rare. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is Christine Davis. This mm -hmm. is based on the DNA. Yeah. Oh, and you can hear and okay. cool. And this is Simone Tomorrow's uh, fingerprint mm -hmm. with the landscape. It's her own fingerprint. Yeah. Large. And she said, and it's funny because in the conversation she said, "Well, this is not um, related to fabric." And I said. Excuse me, isn't uh, your fingerprint made out of cells that conjugate it together and build just like fabric? That's true. And yeah. this is, oh my God, thank you. <laughs> because it's like, that's how it is, right? Yes. Yeah, so. And who is this Latin American? Oh, well, let's look at this one. This then. is Johanna M. Roa, R-O-A, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. born in Cali. Yeah. Studying in Mexico City, living in New York. Mm -hmm. Right? And this all related to Doña Carmen mm -hmm. recipes of how in her native lands mm -hmm. part of feeding themselves was to go up a hill after rains and gather weeds. But but even weeds you can find in your own garden, your backyard in the streets. Right. And she makes this kind of tortilla. Yes. Right? An omelet like, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, you kind of follow from mm -hmm. these are some of the of those, uh, leaves, herbs, etc. Yeah. And it comes here and if you have the time, mm -hmm. a, a couple of people came to watch this. They followed the weaving. The, the embroidery, this is embroidery mm -hmm. through history. And then began, one guy very smart was like, oh my God, I just realized time-wise how you, 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 you embroider through history, a map mm -hmm. that also relates to the Nia Carmen's oh, landscape, wow, etc. Wow, right? wow. And if you can see there's a table mm -hmm. and here we are. Yeah. Right? Yeah. With all books from history mm -hmm. is a feminist approach to history. Wow, that wow. she does, right? Wow. And then Sandra Lee, you probably know her, right? Mm -hmm. She's having a show at the Phillips. And, oh, okay. In, the auction in, house? In, in, no, uh, no, Phillips um, in, in DC, Washington, oh, okay. DC. The museum. Mm -hmm. And I'm mesmerized by these two um, 
Yes. Uh, shoes, mm -hmm. you know, southwest. Yes, the face, yes, right? yes, yes. Day by day by day. Mm -hmm. And this is her book of mountains, mm -hmm. right? Which here you have a mountain, right? Mm -hmm. Walking mountain, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, the, the most uh, attempted to be touched piece is this one. I wonder why they want to touch it. Everybody yeah. just, she had to stay here at the opening. Because uh -huh. everybody would go like... But why? Uh, even kids that came, they yeah, yeah, yeah. go like... That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Interesting. Right. And she well, wanted to build a plexiglass box here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely no. No, but it's something else, like a black line or something that's not so... Um, you know, I just yeah. had to put... Please do not but touch. that please do not touch is so small, actually. It needs to be bigger. But, but then maybe it's not looking so good. But she told me that she had in a museum... The sandpaper here, yeah. the view is still went over. Yeah, yeah, no, that so makes I sense. Thought, you know, yeah, I yeah. sit here when yeah, we're here, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, Aurora Pelizzi, mm -hmm. she, she had a show recently at mm -hmm. Canada. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, but a very uh, Amanda Valdez, mm -hmm. this painting. Yeah. Right? Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Uh -huh. As you come in, they have fabric inside. Mm -hmm. Hey. Right? Yeah. Beautiful um, works. Um, and this, too, are Blanca and Metzgua. Mm -hmm. Right? This relates very much to Johanna Roa because these are in Mexico. Many of the leaves that actually she used, like Rodeo Carmen. Right. Right? And this you can touch. This, for example, wow. on the side that you can touch and hold yeah. and see. And it's beautiful. Uh, we, we, and when we reopen on Wednesday, mm -hmm. we're going to put a glossary of everybody's um, works. works yeah. because and before I forget, I better yeah. get Shiva because, uh, you know, the thing is, at That's the right. front, people might... Right. Yeah. Shiva Burgos mm -hmm. um, runs a residency, mm -hmm. arts residency, uh, with native um, peoples mm -hmm. in Papua New Guinea. Mm -hmm. Born in Puerto Rico, a New Yorker, yeah. London, Paris, etc. Mm -hmm. Woman of the world. Uh -huh. A wonderful artist yeah. who had this made with her residence right. in Papua New Guinea. Right? And it cast shadows, is, is put apart, right? Yes. Runs against the walls, mm -hmm. the shadows. That's, she likes them to be you know, life. Yes, right? yes, yes. Yeah. And at night we live with some lights at night and it's mm -hmm. gorgeous. Popping, and yeah. When the sun comes in the afternoon and all this becomes very, very evident. Yes, right? yes, yes. So this is a mapping, which the curious thing is that mm -hmm. if you come here, mm -hmm. that's one that says Simonetta Moro, mm -hmm. right? Simonetta Moro writes, mm -hmm. mapping paradigms in modern and contemporary art, right. poetic cartography. Mm -hmm. And this is her piece. Now I'm going to do something really odd. I'm mm -hmm. going to touch it. Mm -hmm. This is my art. Yeah. This is the rubbing of 2008, circa 2008, mm -hmm. um, at the LMCC studio. She was given. Yeah. So these are the rubbings of that floor, scumbling. They got them. And then, right here in the back, yeah. you have arrows going, pointing to a city. A city, a landscape, yes. not a city, and utopia. Perhaps a combination of all those amalgams of cities, spaces, ideas yes. we have, right? So yes. it, 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 it's so like rolls very nicely. With the uh, from, from Shiva's, the Shiva's idea, mm -hmm. right, of bringing those patterns that are meaningful mm -hmm. in the eloquent uh, language, visual language of this. Uh, people from yeah. Romania yeah. to this idea of mapping cartographies, right? Yes. And then when you move around, this is also mapping the yeah. herbs yeah. Yeah. And, and wheats you can eat in mm -hmm. Mexico, right? Mm -hmm. uh, this guy gives it, brings it back to a concept of, uh, you know, Russian constructivism to Sonia Delaunay, mm -hmm. but thrown in fabric in the midst of it, it brings us this new way to to sense to yes. the history yes. of painting, right? Because painting is a very difficult thing to do today. What the hell do we paint? 
500 years after we invented the portable thing. Right, right, right. right. right? right. But Johanna Rob will give us the other cartography. And the map, yeah, the mapping. The feminist mm -hmm. way of looking at history. Yes, right? yes. And through the culinary aspects. Yeah, yeah, right? wow, well, yeah. Right? Yeah, I get it. And what about this one again and at the end here? This is a gym. Mm -hmm. This is a performance she has mm -hmm. been doing for a while. Mm -hmm. um, this moment of when she was in there. Mm -hmm. And here you can see the roll photographs of women who have been killed. Mm -hmm. Here you see the real photographs when people, the public, pulls them out. And then they put it up on a piece of black. Uh, right. So background. that performance is happening. And she's going to do this performance probably the 28th of April. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm glad I'm back on your mailing list. I will hopefully be here for one of these things uh, coming up in the next few months. Uh, April uh, 28th and then... 22nd is Earth Day when we're going to do music performances and conversation. Mm -hmm. yeah. And exhibition close around May 5th, May 4th. May 4th, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. sounds good. Thank you, Juan. My great pleasure. Off the Cloth is open at White Box until May 4th.